happen as the pre-season coming along? Yeah, really nicely. Um, we had a good period pre-Chrissy, finished off with a nice camp in the Gold Coast, and then we've come back and um, everyone ran really well in the two kilometre time trial that we had at the start of um, January. So um, everyone's fit and firing and um, we've started really nicely. You're looking bigger, Frida. Is it that how you're feeling? Yeah, my, my personal aim was just to um, do the program during the off-season with my knee injury that I had, and um, I got through that really nicely and then came back to training um, in pretty good nick as well, and um, I've just been getting through each training session, just um, just working on my fitness and a few different things with the midfield coach, Anthony Rock, and um, I've had no issues with the knee, and that was pretty much the main aim, um, just to get through all the sessions that I can, um, injury-free, and hopefully be ready for round one. When you have a knee, you can't run for a fair portion of the season, and you're hoping to play midfield the next year. What impact does it have on your overall preparation? Yeah, like it's um, it was interesting. Like I've, it was sort of my first long-term injury during a year, so um, you do have a few mental demons that you need to fight off, and it's just a good time for a bit of reflection and. Um, like everyone's going to come across these sort of obstacles in their career and it's just about how you deal with them and how you respond and I was pretty happy with the way that I've responded and I'm just um, pretty eager just to hopefully get through a whole year injury free. I've had a couple of injuries in the last couple of years, I had my shoulder two years ago and then, and then the knee injury last year so my aim is just to, just to get through the year unscathed. Are you going to have the fitness base from missing those couple of years to be able to play a year as a midfielder or are you going to, is it going to still be a play across half back for it? Um, oh, like I said, like my aim is literally just to play wherever Ross wants me to play and hopefully I can just get through the whole year unscathed. I think, um, obviously I've been working on my fitness and building that back up after the knee injury and I came back and um, I ran a really nice time and they're happy with it. So um, from a fitness point of view, I'm pretty ready to just play whatever position Ross wants me to play. What's Ross telling me he wants you to play? Uh, we've had a couple of little chats and he's happy for me to spin through a bit of midfield and half back. Um, so that's the plan and um, I'm happy to do that. There's a lot of talk about that Lockie Neal role and you stepping into his shoes. Is there any extra pressure on you to take that role? I don't think so. I think um, we've got quite a nice few numbers of guys that can spin through the role of half back and midfield. We've got guys like Stephen Hill and Adam Chair is coming along really nicely as well and Andy Brayshaw and Bailey Banfield. So, um, I think it's just about sharing that load through those areas and like I said before, it sounds so cliche but I'm literally hoping just to get through the year unscathed um, after having a couple of injuries over the last couple of years. Yeah, I think with um, with that midfield depth sort of question, I think we've got guys like Dave Mundy who came third in our BNF and he's someone that um, can spin through the midfield and play a really good role there as well. So we've got obviously Nat, Dave, Bailey had a really good year as well and Adam Cherry can go through there and Andy Brayshaw held his own, then we've got myself as well and Stephen Hill. So I think from a depth point of view, I think we're still pretty well off in those sort of positions. Then the guys that we recruited as well, Trav Collier can spin through the midfield and um, Reese Conkin can play a role through there as well. With those recruits, do you think it's likely we'll sort of see uh, anything from the first year players this year? Um, yeah, there's a couple of guys like Brett Bewley, who's, I think he's 23 from Williamstown. He's um, a really big body, so he's someone that could potentially come through quite early in the season but when you view it in the way that if the first years aren't playing that means that the club generally is doing a little bit better because you have those guys that are the mainstays of the club and um, they're playing the, the right footy to obviously um, deserve a game so I think we have guys like Jesse Hogan and Roy Love that will come through those big guys and they'll um, bring a lot of performance pressure for guys like Matty Tabernay and Cam McCarthy so there's going to be um, a lot of numbers in the forward line and if we have all our main guys up and running and playing well then there's almost no need for the first years to come in and play immediately so that I think that's, that, that'll that just show like the strength of our team and how we were playing at the start of the year. How's Jesse looking at the moment? Yeah he's coming along really nicely he um, actually started his first warm-up with the main main crew on Monday so um, his foot injury that um, the stress fracture that he had he's coming along pretty nicely they're pretty tentative with it because it's quite a a crucial sort of bone in your foot, um, but he's yeah coming on pretty nicely. Do you expect him to be playing round one? Um, oh, I'm not too sure what the goal is in terms of his expectations and the club's expectations with when he's going to play, but um, I think he's building really nicely and he'll start training with the main squad in a few weeks' time and hopefully he'll play a couple of pre-season games and then hopefully be ready for round one, but I can't give you a solid answer on that.
with all the guys you just mentioned before, does it feel like you've sort of broken the back of the, the hard part of the rebuild if you, now that you've got some more experienced heads and you're not going to have to play a lot of the kids you mentioned earlier? Yeah, definitely. That's that's pretty much the aim is to be able to play those guys that have um, come in and hopefully they can fill a role within the club and we don't have to necessarily rely on the younger guys to come in and be blooded into the team. So um, over the last few years, it was great for the experience of guys like Bailey and um, Andy and Adam to play and get that experience of playing AFL footy. Um, and then this year, they've had that all that experience and they can be the mainstays of the team. And we have the main crew playing as well, like Sonny Walters and Brad Hill, Stephen Hill. And um, I think we're certainly over the hardest part of that sort of rebuild. Does that make you think finals are a more realistic possibility this year than what you might have entered seasons in the past? Yeah, like back in 2016, no one sort of saw the way that we plummeted down the ladder and um, from that moment on we've sort of yeah, started that rebuild and I think yeah, this year more than ever we're in a better position to potentially play finals.